Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is the Assassinos Credo. And I just got out of the uh, fishbowl or whatever they call that thing because it was stressing me out. And that female scientist lady was like, he's gonna blow a gasket, you better let him out for a little bit. So, that's what happened. Well, more happened. We're done for today, Mr. Miles. I suggest you return to your room and get some rest. Okay, we tired anyway. Ah, blah. Oh. Anyway, that's what happened out here. Uh, I mean, there's a lot, a lot happened last episode. Like, I can see why people think the plot's somewhat complicated. Like, this guy was kidnapped by this organization and put this machine that shows memories from his ancestors that are apparently encoded into my DNA and lets me relive them, or rather, forces me to. Oh dear. Damn it! They locked the door. And in that memory, we met Altier, an assassin. And they also suggested that this guy is also an assassin, so I guess it just follows down the family line. Though he's retired and a bartender. And Altier got, like, stabbed in the stomach. That was the last thing that we saw inside of that memory, so... Following morning. <sighs> Gotta say, that's a little creepy, Doc. Waking up to you standing over me. You been watching me sleep? We're always watching you. Now get up. We've got a lot of work to do. Ooh, wonder who I get to kill today. Don't be so cavalier. Your ancestors almost had the right idea, Mr. Miles. If the deaths of a few people, evil people, no less, could save the lives of thousands more, well... It seems a small sacrifice. What do you mean, almost? They didn't go far enough. To use a rather tired analogy, corruption is no different than cancer. Cut out the tumors, but fail to treat the source and... Well, you're buying time, at best. There's no true change to be had without comprehensive, systemic intervention. Chemo for the masses. Education. Re-education, to be more precise. But it's not easy, and it doesn't always take. Let me guess. You've got a better solution. What is it, then? <laughs> now that would be telling. Well, tell me, then. What am I going to do, escape and tell people? Uh What's cool is I don't actually know where this story's going entirely, because again, I only played like less than halfway through the game. So once I get to a certain part, I'm gonna be flying blind. Which should be cool. Are you gonna go back in the thing there are like certain things that you can do in this game. Certain interactions. If you take too long, this dude yells at you. I didn't bother him. I didn't bother you. This is gonna bother you. I bother you? Are you bothered? I'm bothering you. No, they don't care. I guess nothing special happens here yet. But later. I need you to sit down on the animus. Um, I need you to let me look out this window. And possibly give me sunglasses. Good god. Oh well. <laughs> now I can't see anything. I hope you're happy. Alright, let's go back into La La Land. I'm just gonna wake up, bleeding out of the gut, instantly come back out. You'll see. You'll be sad for sending me here. Also, this screen also acts as a menu. What'd you say? I wasn't listening. Wasn't listening to your face. Uh, you can see the different, um, the different memory blocks here. What does that say? Summons Temple Jerusalem, yeah. I forget when this takes- it takes place during the Crusades. And each Assassin's Creed game takes place in a different time period and location. Selecting the hidden blade during fight will allow you to quickly dispatch an enemy you've thrown to the ground. All right. I am alive, but I saw you stab me. Felt death's embrace. You saw what I wanted you to see, and then you slept the sleep of the dead, of the womb, that you might awake and be reborn. To what end? Do you remember, Altair, what it is the assassin fight for? Peace. In all things. Yes, in all things. It is not enough to end the violence one man commits upon another. It refers to peace within as well. You cannot have one without the other. So it is said. So it is! But you, my son, have not found inner peace manifests in ugly ways. You are arrogant and overconfident. 
Were you not the one to say that nothing is true and everything is permitted? You do not understand the true meaning of the phrase, my child. It does not grant you the freedom to do as you wish. It is a knowledge meant to guide your senses. It expects a wisdom you clearly lack. Then what is to become of me? I should kill you for the pain you've brought upon us. Malik thinks it only fair. Your life in exchange for his brothers. But this would be a waste of my time and your talents. You'll see you have been stripped of your possessions. Your rank as well. You are a novice. A child once more. As you were on the day you first joined our order. I am offering you a chance at redemption. You'll earn your way back into the Brotherhood. I assume you've something planned. First, you must prove to me you remember how to be an assassin. So you'd have me take a life? No. Not yet, at least. For now, you're to become a student once again. There is no need for this. Others tracked your targets for you, but no more. From today on, you will track them yourself. If this is what you wish. It is. Then tell me what it is that I must do. We have been betrayed. Someone was assisting Robert de Sable. One of our own. You must find him and bring him here for questioning. What can you tell me of the traitor? Ah, but that's just it. I've given you all I will. The rest is up to you. Uh, I'll tell you, if you didn't screw up, this game would have been a lot better, because it would have just been like Hitman. You've been demoted, lost your sword, and you lost your hidden blade. And you've lost your short blade, and your kill counters, and your throwing knives. Oh, I had no weapons. Oh, I've lost my tackle ability, and my catch ledge, and my grab break. Oh, God. These are all ability... Like, it's one of those games, like, I'm... I say one of those games like it happens off. So, I mean, the other game that I can think of is Chaos Legion, where they make you fully powerful at the beginning. They give you access to all of your abilities, and then they strip it away, and you have to regain them. Chaos Legion actually did it the best, because at the end you get more powerful than you started at the beginning. I don't know if that's the case in this. Oh, what am I doing? I have to leave. All right, well, here's where things get a little bit dicey. Oh, I shouldn't have been hurt from that. You son of a bitches. And yeah, the flags have now been placed. These are the useless collectible items. So there's 20 in this area. If you collect them all, you get an achievement. And that is literally it. There is nothing else. It's just for completionist freaks. And I am not one of them. I have to really like a game to complete it, and there usually needs to be some type of reward. Something, folks. Oh, God. So, let me see. Map. So we got the objective is here. What is this? Oh, that's my master. So I can create little markers. And there's not really any point in making that marker that I just marked, because uh, the objective is already there, but you can select other markers. Safety and peace, I'll tell you. You're in my way. Yes, Al Mualim has asked that I assist you. Remind you how it is we hunt our prey. I know how it works. Be that as it may, I have no desire to disobey. Then be quick. The Assassin have many tools at their disposal. Yes, yes. We can eavesdrop, we can pickpocket, or we can use violence to intimidate. Good, you remember. So you'd have me walk amongst the others and learn what I can about the traitor? Yes. Begin by going to the village market. That's where we first spotted the traitor. You know who it is? Perhaps. Then give me a name and let's be done with it. That's not the way it works. Now go. And remember, begin your search in the village market. Yep, a large part of this game is investigating your targets. And again, if Altier wasn't a jerk, we could just kill those targets. But instead, I have to go and save old ladies and play with doves and other things. Um, oh. Yeah, this is basically a practice mission, because I don't really have all of my weapons right now. So. Also, like, what is this button? That's the blend button right now, like, the people aren't suspicious of me. But if you're running with a high action thing and you hit the blend button, then you go, like, super fast. And then later on, you hit all those three buttons and you hit uh, another button, you can do a tackle and just knock people out of the way. Also, that guy... Oh, he's not an enemy. I thought he was. The map system's pretty good in this. 
It can be confusing when there's multiple levels, like if something's up, like, b above or below. It can be a little bit hard to find things, but not that much. And the closer you get to the target, that number decreases. Right now it's at, like, 25. So you can see I'm getting pretty close to the target. So eavesdrop. Eavesdropping occurs by sitting on a bench close to dudes that can give me information. And I'm not seeing the bench, but if I go to my eagle's view, there they are. You can identify a bench because there'll always be two blue guys sitting on it. You can sit on it and lock on. And eagle view. I know what I saw. Musun opened the gate. He let the Templars in. Then you must tell Al Muallim. I can't. Masun did not act alone. Someone inside the fortress helped him. What makes you say this? He exchanges letters with someone inside. The basket weaver carries them for him. That's no reason to stay silent. Ah, but the weaver delivered him a letter just before the attack. I suspect it held the order to open the gate. Then speak to the weaver. He can name Masun's accomplice. He's disappeared. Hiding for fear of being dragged into this. <laughs> Probably inside one of his own baskets. You should not have discussed that in a public place. Not at all. So, you see those little lines there that are, they represent like DNA markers? Those are all the possible investigate investigatory routes I can take, I believe. And if you complete them all, then uh, if you complete them all, then nothing special happens. Except that, um, completing missions increases your synchronization. So that's why you kind of want to do as much as possible. You can also find out additional information that you might not find out if you don't investigate fully. Like how uh, a target's weakness, an alternate route, uh, something to look out for, like a hidden danger. And now there's pickpocketing. Please, just one. We lost everything in the attack and have no place to store our grain. I... I can't right now. I'm busy. Is this about the letter? What letter? The letter you received when I got here. Bad news? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, I'll see what I can do, but please, I need to be alone right now. Come back later. As you wish. Now for this one, you do not want to arise suspicion. So, do not run at him, and the pickpocket target is very paranoid, because he knows that he has sensitive information. But once you get close enough... Do you do you do like a merchant? No. So go away. Okay, sorry. How do I do this? Let's see, oh, lock into the target. I wasn't locked on, that was the problem. Got it. What's always great is they always look like, oh, I don't have it. Like, they always find out right away. So you'd think that, like, they might <laughs> they might eventually do something. But yeah, if he turns around and start, like, if at any time he's turning around and you try to pickpocket, he will see you and the mission will fail. And then you'll have to do it again. I'm not a traitor. It's what? Al Mualim who's betrayed us. How dare you? You'll see. Soon, Too close. all your eyes will be opened to the truth. We stand upon the threshold between this world and a new one. A better place where all might live as equals. But men like Al Mualim would see this dream destroyed. Two days attack was but the first. And more will follow unless you repent. Give up your wicked ways. Rise up against the madman of Masyaf. See through his lies. Oh, buddy, unfortunately for you, we don't have freedom of speech here. And you've been saying things to cast you into suspicion. So I need to find a secluded place and beat the crap out of him with my fists. Which, incidentally, is the only weapon I have. So. <laughs> but you don't want to use any other weapon, because that'll just kill him. And dead men speak no tales. Unless you're playing Town of Salem and there's a medium. By the way, Town of Salem, good game. Look it up. Might be videos on that sometime if there haven't been already. Eh, seems kind of secludy. 
Uh oh, did someone see me? Oh no, that was just him saying I made a grave mistake. Well, I disagree, because your face just rammed into a wall. Kick. Enough! I yield! I yield! Speak quickly then. I have no interest in your games. Why did you betray us? And who do you serve? We serve the Templars. You should too. Their cause is just. We? Jamal. He told me of their plans. Asked me to open the gate. You betrayed us. We, who called you brother and kept you safe from harm. I did what I believed was right. And if you must kill me for it, so be it. I am not afraid to die. Your fate is not for me to decide. It's Al Muallam who will judge. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. There is one more typical you investigation. Accused of betraying our brotherhood and opening the way for our enemies. All right, now you just talk. Whatever. How do you answer to these charges? I deny nothing. I'm proud of what I did. My only regret is that they failed. I offer you a chance to repent. To renounce the evil in your heart. It is not evil in my heart. But truth. I will not repent. Then you will die. You did well, Altair. And have earned the right to carry a blade once more. What will become of the one who helped him? It remains to be seen. Some do ill out of ignorance or fear. These men can be saved. Others suffer from corrupted wills, their minds poisoned and twisted. These men must be destroyed. Soon enough, we'll know what sort of man Jamal is. I've passed your test, then. What now? <laughs> oh, my child. We've only just begun. I hold here a list. Nine names adorn it. Nine men who need to die. They are plague bringers, war makers. Their power and influence corrupts the land and ensures the Crusades continue. You will find them. Kill them. In doing so, you'll sow the seeds of peace, both for the region and for yourself. In this way, you might be redeemed. Nine lives in exchange for mine. A most generous offer, I think. Have you any questions? Only where I need begin. Very well. Ride for Damas. Seek out the black market merchant named Tamir. Let him be the first to fall. Be sure to visit the city's assassin bureau when you arrive. I'll dispatch a bird to inform the Rafik of your arrival. Speak with him. You'll find he has much to offer. If you believe it best. I do. Besides, you cannot begin your mission without his consent. What nonsense is this? I don't need his permission. It's a waste of time. It's the price you pay for the mistakes you've made. You answer not only to me, but all the Brotherhood as well now. So be it. Take your equipment and go. Prove that you are not yet lost to us. All right, I have more life, and I retain. I now have my hidden assassin's blade, which is very important. Also, I like how he says nine lives in exchanging for yours, because there's gonna be a lot more than nine bodies when I'm through with this game. <laughs> Try nine hundred. That's probably closer. Ah, the Assassinos Creed, or is it Assassin? Is it Assassinos? I don't remember what they say. It's not assassins. They say it weird. Yeah. Oh my legs. They shouldn't make this place so tall. You know that us assassins like to jump from things. Is that... Thought I saw something sparkly. Whatever, I should ignore all flags. And I'm not gonna do 100% complete on this game, by the way. Um, like, not even close. Because... For God's sakes. It is not worth it. But, I'll do what I can. I'll do what I feel I must. For the Brotherhood. Yeah. Boom. What is See, reason for this nonsense? it should decrease your damage when you He's decrease your momentum like that. He's gone mad. But it doesn't. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield the blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. 
Oh, you're not even gonna give me a choice, are you? No. Oh, well. All right, so you hold, you hold face to defend. Was that it? Is this the button? No, that's leap. That's defend. Okay. Come on, attack, bro. I'm not defended. All right, I'll attack. One, two, three. We good? Is this this good? This. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Well. You must be busy. <laughs> I understand. Let's move out of this. He's probably gonna die over the night, but you know, sometimes assassins wash out of the program. What are you gonna do? Not you everyone can make busy. it. I understand. Now, in addition to like, here's here's how the game basically works. Can I not go out the back yet? Oh, that's not unlocked to me yet. There's a shortcut I can take later on. But, um... The way the game works is that every single time you leave the assassin's place after reporting to your master, you go through town, and then you ride through this gigantic wasteland, generally on a horse. I mean, you could do it by foot, but that would take a very long time. And then you get to the city. You go to the city, you start investigating things, and once you have enough information, you can attack your target. And it goes on exactly nine times. The mini games don't really change. However, oh no! Really got to stop doing that. I'm going to kill myself eventually. Um, for the PC version, they added more missions. And those missions are generally more varied and I think more fun. Except for one where you have to find flags. That one is balls and I will not be doing those if at all possible. But there's not that many of them. And I didn't actually know that until I was talking with Companion and looking it up that uh, those were for the PC only. I'm sorry, ma'am. Uh, can I go this way? Yes. Are you guys evil? Nope. You're friendly. A horse? I shall take the white horse. White horse, white horse, white horse. He's white. I just figure it matches my outfit better. So... I'm really, it's really far out, it seems. That is 300 things away from me. Yeah, I gotta go through this entire chasm. And that's just to get to the wasteland part, where I can then get to the part that I want to get to. Once again, you hit the gentle button and the action button while moving, and you'll go super fast. Hoo-ha! And you can jump over things. And you can also use your sword to attack, but I've never actually hit anyone like that. It's probably possible. But... Uh, it doesn't seem all that practical, especially when you need to jump off and do crazy things. There were a few combat moves that I didn't use, just because I felt I should use them when I unlocked them now, instead of later. I mean, even maybe the throwing knives I shouldn't have shown, but... Don't want to blow all the skills too early. Now, it should tell me about eagles or something. Yep, buildings with eagles can be scanned. Now... Okay. You're friendly. Now, this is a very important aspect of the game. Because right now, I don't have this area scouted. If I want to have it scouted, which reveals all objectives, because objectives are hidden on the minimap unless you find them through eagle things. And you can still complete them, it's just they won't show up on the minimap. But you have to climb up to the top of many different towers, all of which will have a wooden beam popping out with an eagle on it for some reason. And you go there, and you use your head, and you get a nice 360 view. And at the bottom of these, there is always a carton filled with hay. So you don't need to walk all the way back down. Now you notice it says uh, viewpoints. That'll tell you how many viewpoints are in the area. And it also counts as a, a, a synth bar thing. Every time I do 15 missions, I gain a increased synth bar. Which is my life bar, so that is very important. Are you, are you, are you kidding me? I'm 900 away. I have to walk all the way to Damascus. Or ride, rather. Now, 
ed editing editing will be forthcoming eventually. Am I pointing the wrong direction? Pointing the wrong direction will also be forthcoming right now. Let's turn around. <laughs> we don't need to go back there yet. So yeah, this is uh Ugh. You guys remember you remember Shadow of the Colossus? You're getting a Shadow of the Colossus feel right now. Sorry. Um, I was reminiscing about Shadow of the Glasses and may have run over your dumb faces. But I assure you there was no malice in my heart. Now each one of these I should actually... Mm, that's up a path. Let's just go to this one. Each one of those is an eagle thing and I can reveal more stuff. Though there's not actually that much to reveal in this part, but whatever. And you can use the mini-map to reveal hiding spots. There are bandits and Templars here. Like, it's Assassins versus Templars in this game, essentially. And there's a bunch of regular soldiers, and then there's, like, actual factual Templars that are, one, really tough, and will immediately recognize you as an assassin, even if you're not doing anything suspicious. And there are 50 of them in the game. And if you defeat them all, you get nothing. Okay, now those guys saw me. They wouldn't have done anything if I was moving slowly. And being is that I'm so underpowered at this point in the game, I don't really want to fight them. Oh, you see me, do you? There's guards guarding towers, and if you start just climbing up a tower, they generally get pissed. Uh, you are not necessarily safe at this point, because guards can throw rocks at you. And if too many of them hit, you can fall, and if you're really high up, you can die. But it looks like these guys suck, and they did nothing. Now, they've lost sight at me because I'm so high up, they they just can't see me. And unfortunately, that annoying bloop, 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 bloop thing will just keep on blooping until I do something about it. But, scanned. Yeah, in the future, we'll be cutting out some of that. Now, I am hidden. So once I stay here a little bit more... You can't hide forever. Alright. Now I am completely innocent. Oh, um, completely innocent. And everything will be fine. <laughs> Except for him. He's gonna have... He, he's, well, his life is over. I was gonna say he was gonna have a bad day, but, you know. He's, uh, he's dead. Where did I park my horse? Did I park my horse next to you, sir? I don't remember. Uh, have you seen a horse? It's white and has a blade in its neck. Oh, he caught me. <laughs> Sometimes if they're completely unaware, you can do a front stab like that, but he... He was on to me way before I even came up to him. He was a little bit suspicious, though. No, no, not over there. You saw nothing, and there's not dead bodies over there. So don't go over there, and don't worry if some of your patrol doesn't show up. They're probably just slackers, and you should rehire without any type of investigation. They might take me up on it. I think they're lazy. Now, am I... Yes, I am going the correct direction. Well, that one eagle's nest is in a pretty annoying spot, isn't it? The one I decided not to go after. Uh, trampling innocence. Trampling innocence can raise suspicion, and also, in some circles, is morally wrong. Unfortunately, I'm part of one of those circles, so I'll try not to trample innocence, unless it's especially hilarious. Also, I don't have a large amount of synchronization at this point. Look at all my poor synchronization bar. I only have five. That someone saw me, but I left so fast they didn't pursue, which is good for them because I would have murdered them. Let's go here. Whoop, here. Alright, get off the horse. Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot of guys. Uh, no, don't... Oh, what are you doing? This isn't leapfrog with horses. This isn't horse frog. Now, guy, they can chase you up here. They can't chase you everywhere, but they can chase you to certain ledges. Alright. Do... I can try to run forever. Oh, they're throwing rocks. So I want to keep on moving, and hope they don't get lucky. Which they normally don't. But I have been knocked off due to rocks before, it just generally doesn't happen. Alright. Ignore me! Because if you don't, 
you might start bleeding. I'm just saying. I'd like to start my presentation on why you shouldn't mention random dead bodies. <coughs> Where are they? There's a guy. Oh, he left. I'm just gonna slowly walk away. Fortunately, they have crappy memories. But hey, nothing too exciting happened. No one died. And they should be thankful for that. We're gonna bump off this one. And then we're gonna go to Damascus. Okay, I ran into a little bit of problems. But you shouldn't be concerned. Oh. You know, the second I start record I stop recording, something crazy happens. Some of you. Oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> Look, there may have been an incident where I ran over a peasant woman a little bit, and people got a little bit riled up, but this isn't my horse! How dare you! <laughs> uh, oh, well. Uh, let, let's just try that again. <laughs> I just, uh, what, I'd actually, see, I wish I had shown that, because what happened was I was climbing up the tower, and they threw rocks at me, and I fell, and I had, like, no health left. So I died. <clears throat> but this time, we'll be different! <laughs> it's probably gonna be exactly the same. I, I don't know where he went. Yeah, I don't know where he went. This is a mystery. A big ol' mystery. And mysteries are meant to be unsolved. All the mysteries. By the way, I am here to uh, sell some books to a guy that's back here. So don't mind me. I'm just selling books. Because I'm a scholar and I do peaceful scholarly things. It was a lie. To do... Someone... No. <laughs> no one is looking at me. Because if they were, they would have raised alarms once I started climbing. So that was the way you were supposed to do it. You weren't supposed to accidentally trample a lady and then get rocks thrown at you. Oh, boy. Ignore me. I usually don't get up these without being seen, so... Caution can have its virtues, but it's generally not necessary. Especially, you get a move later on in combat that's so stupidly powerful you can just take on hordes of enemies and you don't even need to hide. Which is actually kind of a flaw in the game. Like, there's nothing so powerful in Tenchu. I, and again, I keep on comparing it to Tenchu because that was just like one of my first stealth games. And I, I do love me some Tenchu. Don't worry about me. Okay, he's worrying. Run! Oh good. No, 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 no. Good. Of course, whenever you complete an objective... Oh, white horse! Ah, screw it. You're now my horse. <laughs> I'm not gonna betray you like the game betrayed me. Switching freaking horses on me. I'm getting pretty close to it. I'm almost to Damascus. Do do do. Yeah. I don't see... I'm gonna have to figure out how much I edit out. Because I'm probably gonna want to edit out, like... Most of the investigations, right? Acceptable way to reach a rooftop. Climbing on buildings, however, is not. And they give you little tips during the loading screens. However, most of the loading screens are so fast that it cuts off in mid-tip. I don't know why they did that. They probably just shouldn't have had tips during those loading screens. See, those ladies shouldn't have been standing there. These ladies should also be very careful. Oh dear. Oh, dear. Okay. Well, you know what? Um, I don't think... I don't think you should be attacking people for no reason. I mean, I know you had a reason. Is that even a good reason? But, um... As I was saying, there's gonna be a lot more than nine bodies when I'm done here. <laughs> oh, that was great, because they had every right to attack me. I freaking rammed my horse into them. That's not okay. You can't just go ramming horses into people. The desert town of Damascus. Yeah. Alright, so here is the final mission that you guys didn't see before. Saving a citizen. There are citizens that are harassed by these guards. 
and they generally haven't actually done anything wrong. Uh, okay. They forced me to be dumb there. Hey! Oh dear. <laughs> uh, a lot of times you can actually stealth kill a few of those guards because they're distracted. You just walk up, you stealth kill one or two of them, then you don't need to fight them as much. And it's kind of great. Whoa. Block. Strong attack! Then, here's the dumb part. You lock onto the citizen and they say the same goddamn thing every single time. Not the last of them. I hope so. Still, best not to take any chances. I'll hurry home. Don't think I'll leave it again anytime soon, either. You've done me a kindness, young man. Be assured, I won't forget it. Yeah, you would be hearing that a whole lot, except I'm gonna cut out most of the times that the citizens are talking, because you just... That's one of the things I don't like about the game, actually. What is happening? Oh, was it because a bunch of people died over there? Maybe. They're suspicious of me. Uh, you may remember from the intro that there's a part where he goes into a bunch of guys dressed in white and disappears. Those are scholars. People are inherently trusting of them because they are a peaceful sect. And if you go to blend, you can do this, and that is the stereotypical scholar stance. And since your dress is ridiculously similar to them, no one even bats an eyelash. You can use this to get past guards that you could normally not get past because they'd be like, Hey there, buddy. You can't go to Damascus. You don't have a passport. This doesn't look like you in the photo ID. Get out of here. But everyone lives in scholars. They're so scholarly. A scholar would never hurt anyone. I hear a citizen in trouble. You just need to listen on the streets. If you hear a citizen in trouble, you can just rush over them, save them, and get some investigation points. And I'm not exactly sure how many you need to complete investigation. It might be different for different ones. But it's at least six, and I think it's less than ten. Yeah, it sounds right. So now I'm in Damascus. Let me look on the street for people. Now these are what I'm... I'm just going to push into her real quick. She broke her vase. If there was a guard, I could have gotten in trouble for that. However, if you use gentle push, you can w walk right into a throng of ladies with jars and just nudge them out of the way and everything's cool. So, that is the power of gentle push. <laughs> just ram my elbow into her armpit. Hey there, buddy. Keep it classy. Now, I can't see any of the investigation missions right now. Hopefully no one will see this. No one important, so... Uh, you can see certain lookout towers. So there's one right here. Once I climb that, I'll actually be able to see missions. I'll be able to see citizens that are in trouble as opposed to just hear them. I'll be able to locate pickpocket missions. And also some of the special missions that... Oh, a flag. And also some of the special missions that have been added just for the computer version. Let me just warp to the top here. Alright. And Headspace. And I gotta... Like, this was a essentially a PlayStation 3 launch title. It might have been for 362 simultaneously. I just... The one I saw was on the PlayStation 3. And it just... Things just look pretty. I really do like the art design in this game. Yeah. And I've heard from a lot of reviews that uh, Assassin's Creed 2 is a lot better than this game. So I will probably be purchasing that at one point. I can't guarantee I'll play it, though, because I can't guarantee it anything. Guarantees are for fools. Hey, bro. One. That's two. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, let's not attack the citizen. I'm trying to. That's not good. <laughs> what the hell? That shouldn't have happened. That was like a counterattack. I don't know how I did that. Someone want to tell me how I did that without counterattack, which I haven't unlocked? Because I certainly don't know. He's not the last of them. I hope so. Still. Yeah, you don't just. You don't just make a player sit through the same, like, 10-second conversation every time he has to do that when the thing's repetitive. Anyway, anyway, the thing for saving citizens, like, they're doing these investigations sets up the scene for the assassination. Uh, I mean, the, the towers let you 
figure out all the different investigations. The vigilante things where you just take out guards sets up certain citizens. You'll notice that a bunch of scholars just appeared. I can use them to hide myself if need be. There's also vagrants, which will distract guards that are chasing you. And if you have a bunch of vagrants around town, well, there's part of the pattern that repeats all nine times that uh, involves a little bit of running away. And they can be helpful for that. Then there's pickpocketing, which I think there's a pickpocketing mission down here. Yes. That's not suspicious, is it? I hope it's not suspicious. Uh, you can get specialized information from pickpocketing, like maps and stuff. Do you understand? Yes. I am to deliver the letter to your merchant friend. And you know who to see? The same man as always. Do not think to betray my presence in this city. We have many eyes, many ears. And many arms, yes. Good for silencing those who say too much. I know this well. You have my word. Good. Then be quick about it. Time is short. Oh, this dude is so dead. Not by my hand, but he's not going to have the information that he needs. Oh, I'm just uh, a scholar. Don't mind me. And yeah, I have a red belt thing, but you know, sometimes it's nice to have a little splash of color, don't you think? I mean, I think that's pretty pretty cool. Yeah. It's, uh... Oh, lock on. Why was I not locked on? Son of a bitch. Oh, just... Do -do 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 -do, scholar. We're all just scholars here. Scholarly scholars. Got to use gentle push here because those pots will alert. Oh, are you kidding me? I was holding gentle push. Oh, it changed to pickpocket. So gentle push wasn't activated anymore. It's like Looney Tunes where there's a bush that's just... Oh, there's so many, so many women with pots. Okay. Come on. Really? Good God. He was walking like just ahead of me. You don't want to do that in a crowd of people. No one's going to see you. Uh, well, ignore me. This isn't suspicious at all. It's in no way socially unacceptable. Yeah. There's a lot of ways to get around the city, too, which is just really fun. You can just take to the rooftops. Ooh, someone needs saving. Yeah! You saw nothing. Wait, where? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Hey, bro. Yeah, there's no reason to stand here. What about here? <laughs> there's only one left. He gonna get thrown. Oh! Don't put away your weapon. Zerk is like close to killing me now. There we go. Let's talk to you. Oh, see, that's as quick as all of them should be. They should all be that quick. Now, there will be guards that will come to investigate those bodies, so I want to make myself scarce before they get here. Vigilantes are blocking the way. Now guards will have a harder time getting through if they're after me. And what is this? What a strange man. There's something... According to this... Oh! This is one of the special missions that was added for the computer. Safety and peace, Altair. I trust you're looking for information to aid you in your strike against Tamir. I fear I have nothing to offer. But uh, Bahir might. He shouldn't be too far from here. So this is known as a rooftop race. You need to get from point A to point B as fast as possible. And let's see. Where's... Right there? Okay, I'm pointing the correct direction. But I don't know what happens if you fall off the rooftop. I don't know if you lose or not. It might just be it takes you longer. But we'll just keep moving. If only there was crazy chase music. Later on, there are guards on the rooftops with bows and arrows and stuff. So, like, on this stage... Going on the rooftop is a free pass. Like, no one's really going to mess with you. You can just do whatever the hell you want. Oh, just... You look like you need something. <laughs> Didn't think I was going to make that jump for a second. Hey, bro. So Record time. Sent you, eh? An interesting choice. Though not my place to judge. The Rafik has asked me to observe the souk that Tamir calls home. Here's what I have learned. 
There's a group of troublemakers who gather around its southeastern exit. They and the guards do not get along. Find a way to earn their friendship, and they'll surely be of service to you. So that's cool. Find aid within the city to help the escape. That's pretty much what I've already been doing. So, thanks for that. I guess I got my cardio. Alright, my investigation is complete. I don't know how many things I completed, but that was the amount that I needed. Uh, there are a few more things I kind of want to check out, though. And again, it's you don't have to do all of the missions. In fact, if you do, you're probably going to burn yourself out with the game. And I apologize to anyone as a crazy completionist streak, because... Uh, you're probably... I don't I don't see how you could have a lot of fun with this first Assassin's Creed game if you had it in your head that you had to complete every single mission in every single town. Because that would take for damn ever. And I still think most of this game is just kind of filler, which is unfortunate. I'm still having fun with it, but I knew when I was playing that I would not be able to go through, do all nine assassinations, then if there's an end thing, whatever, and then play the entire thing again and not be bored. So that's why I stopped and went back. Because I wanted to record this. Yeah. And it's been so long since I've recorded a 3D stealth game. Good god. In fact, was Tenchu the only 3D stealth game I've recorded? I don't know why I worded it like that. Are you guys interesting? Eavesdropping? That could be interesting. I think I might do an eavesdropping. Then I might do uh, some investigation off-screen. There's probably an interrogation mission to it. It'd be cool to find that. I'd like to find all the unique ones. I'm not going to show myself... Uh, going up to the eagle's nest. Oh, oh dear. Um, <laughs> sorry. Don't call the guards. I'll have to throw you downstairs. Um, I mean, sorry, ma'am. She's totally gonna call the guards. Where is this bench that I'm supposed to be finding? So I don't see it. There it is. <laughs> that guard got a little bit pissy on me. I'm telling you, it's rats. No, it's children. I hear them laughing. Rats or children. Either way, it's bad for business. All that noise! Someone needs to get up on those beams and clear them out. I wonder how they're getting up there. Must be through the central courtyard. Then we should ask the guard to have a look. Ah, they're all much too busy polishing the backside of their master. So now I know that there is a alternative way to get to my target. Now, on the map is this little fire symbol. That means my investigation is done, and I just need to report to the bureau head. But if you do more investigations, the, the advantage is a larger synth bar. And I'm going to do a little bit more investigating off-screen, and then video done. If I find the uh, interrogation mission, which there should be in somewhere in the city, I will show that. Okay, I just found something called an informer escort challenge, and I don't know what that is because I've never done it before. So I'm actually going to stop here. I'll do it next time. I'll do a little bit of a, I'll, I'll increase my sense bar by one. I, I rescued two citizens. Oh geez, someone's suspicious of me. Who is it? Who's looking at me? Oh, <laughs> he's probably investigating those people that I murdered. Well, um, yeah, I'll, I don't know. I'll, I'll do some things. I didn't mean it. Can I can I be part of your sect thing? Or are you going to be angry because I pushed you? He's angry. Wait, wait. Blend. 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 All right. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys next time. And next time, there will be an assassination, I assure you. Later.